Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. 2022 has started out on a bearish course for the Australian dollar. Having attempted to take out the 60-day moving average on many occasions, has eventually turned around and now posts further threat to the downside. After slamming at the support level of 71.60, is now challenging this level. Given from the technical aspect, with the MACD also nearly breaking through the midway point, I feel that this level will be broken and also expose the next target, which is seen at 70.90, and reassess from there, as we could see some profit taking. As the market slowly declines, all eyes will be on the US dollar as well, which currently trades around 96.30. Later, we do have the US job numbers, and looking at the non-farm payrolls report, does expect to see a rise of 426,000 jobs for December, after the previous November post was at 210,000 jobs. And the unemployment is expected to go down from 4.2 to 4.1. Viewing the euro, it currently holds at this support level, which is seen around 112.70. As it wobbles above there, I do anticipate that it may actually see a little bit of a mixed start into the European session, but I feel overall any advances towards evil 113.45 to 114.00 to foul. The broader aspect, though, is eventually seeing the market take out 112.70 and look down towards 112.25, and with the broader target still holding at 111 figure 50. The dollar yen's got a short term trend which comes in around 115.50 and presently does hold to a slightly weaker outlook into the European session. Having given four, three attempts to that top side 116 level and failing, I feel the market is looking towards this support, which is at 115.80 to 115.50. And if it breaks, looking down towards 114.60 and reassess from there. The sterling is a little bit mixed, having briefly posted a fresh two month high at one above 136 though the, the technical aspect though is still somewhat buckled and showing a little bit of divergence and therefore i do anticipate the market will break down eventually and look down towards the region of 134.30 and reassess cat gen a little bit mixed after a choppy session prior and therefore looks towards the region of the top side cap at 91.30.35, which could see another rejection from there and eventually see a move back towards the base, which is around where this trend line is at 89.60. Oil, oil and gold were a little bit mixed. Starting with gold, though, the market plummeted back towards this level of 1,788. And given from the technical aspect, I feel the market may actually break down further and look towards the region of 1,757 and reassess. And with oil, the market stays the further rebound and looks towards this $80 mark. If we do see a break of this level, then we could see a further squeeze up to the recent highs, which was around October of $83.50-90 area. So do be on your guard of a short squeeze coming through if we break 80. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Interstate Report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.